if this is a bit confusing to you, don't worry, but once we get to the code, it will make a lot more sense. Okay, so I'll be able to explain it a bit better as well, hopefully. So let's, I think that's everything. Um, one thing that I'll need you to note down is that that anti-flick um, result, that variable, is stored at minus 1A4 in, in the engine.dll from uh, our view project matrix, and that's what we use for this. So um, it, even if you can't find that for your version, it means your hack will flicker a little bit, but don't worry about that, as that's something, easy, something very easy to fix later on. Um, it will still work just fine, it will just uh, draw in other places as well sometimes. So what we're going to do now is kill Counter-Strike. Uh, kill Counter-Strike for now, yep, that's fine. And we're going to we're going to get on with the code. So get your template again up, and we're going to start coding this beauty. Okay, so I'm just going to get my notes here on the side. That's it. So as you can see, we start off with quite a few variables declared. These are from the previous tutorial, so make sure you check them out if you haven't yet. And we're going to start off by opening the solution here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I know you guys like to see uh, the text fairly. Uh, reasonably big anyway um, so we're gonna start off we've got the view matrix which we stored here and let's just say that um, minus a f minus 1 a 4 uh, sorry comment minus 1 a 4 equals anti flick so that prevents us from flickering and I'll show you an example of this the the ESP flickering hopefully when we're done um, so we're going to start off by writing main.c++. So let's go down to the code and do main.c++. So go to main. So all I've given you here is all the code from previous tutorials plus just a couple of functions to do some drawing. That way you don't have to write all this boring stuff. So this tutorial will be hopefully fairly faster than other ones, but we'll find out. So let's check and make sure we're recording okay. Uh, yeah, we're good in memory space. All right, let's get on with this. All right, so first thing we want to do is go create our main here so so we want to go leave that there show process and we're going to do our infinite loop down there which will start in a second and we're going to start off by going show window oops show window um, and that will be console window class null so all this is doing is hiding our window for the hack okay so hide that. Uh, what did I screw up? All right, my bad. So find. Uh, I've got to make my own text bigger actually because I can't read it that well. So find window A, which we use to find our own um, console that is brought up by that, by our hack. So what we do we're doing is we're hiding it. Actually, I don't think this is necessary for GDI drawing. I used it for my old tutorial. But if you end up using overlays, you'll need to use this. Uh, so find window A. So we're grabbing that window and we're setting it to false. Uh, here. And then open, close, that seems fine. What's wrong with that? False. May have made a mistake somewhere, but I don't see how. Yeah, there you go, that's fine. So why the fuck did IntelliSense not come up? So, Alright, so yeah, we're saying hide hide the window basically. So find find this window and hide it. And then we're saying target. Actually, am I supposed to declare my variables first? No, we'll do that in a second, actually. Uh, target uh, W and D. Yeah, I'll have to declare my, ver my variables first. Sorry, my notes are a little bit screwed up there. So let's declare the ESP-related variables first. So ESP virus. I'm just going to do that. <clears throat> so we start off by... Na -na 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 -na. So if I go here... And yeah, there you go. So we're going to start off by doing hwnd, which is our handle, target, oops, target wnd. Okay. hwnd again, which is our handle for the window. Uh, that's the games window, that is, I believe. D word, which is dw proc id, which remembers our process id. I apologize if there's one thing I'll mention is that if there's extra code in some areas because I changed this to GDI, uh, to fucking hell, I changed this to GDI last minute 
to uh, make sure it works for the most amount of people possible. So if, if there's a tiny bit of like a variable or two that are declared and unnecessary, then you feel free to delete them. Uh, they're just something that, um, that will work on later on. Um, and you can always delete that. So uh, D word proc ID. One thing I'll declare above these is constant fucking hell. D word, and that will be D W V matrix. And that's the matrix that we just found. And that will be equals. And what was the variable that we found? If we go back to, um, <laughs> I believe it's here. So yeah, just put get this value from here, which is our view matrix, and put it there. And do zero times so that the compiler knows it's a uh, hexadecimal value, and then we're going to do the anti-flick as well. Const d word uh, dw anti-flick equals, and that will be this address here minus uh, one point. Uh, sorry, one a four. Just going to write this here. I keep forgetting that fucking number. One a four. Okay, and that will be. Doo -doo -doo -doo, that's fine. And the best way to do this is generally to just, I guess we shouldn't have shut down Counter Strike. Um, dun, 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 let me think. Uh, yeah, just get this address. I guess we'll have to look for this and do minus one, one a four equals that value. And then nah, 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 check out my notes quickly. Blah blah. blah. So that's that value. Well, it's technically all that is is technically this number here that we have. So 52, um, 52 D 5 C 4 5 C, and, uh, and this is the uh, sorry, this is a what's the word uh, dynamic value. So I'll probably have to grab this and do minus one A four from this address in memory. So I'll I'll do that. I'll do the I'll, I'll find it and I'll do that. Hopefully it will work as we are coming up with the chip on the spot. So hopefully that will work. <clears throat> so constant D word, uh, sorry D word proc ID, and then we're going to do color H, uh, not href ref equals snap line color. So this is a bit of an obvious name. So if you can guess that, ten points for you. So color ref equals um, what am I on about equals? Uh, so we're declaring the variable. So text color make that in capitals as well. Why not? Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do type def. I'm just going to create a little struct here. Here, so type def struct. Open that and close that. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Float fl matrix, and this will be a four times four. It's four by four dimensional two D array. Um, and then we're going to go world. To screen matrix, and we'll just do T at the end. Okay, and that's our word screen matrix. That's where we'll store what we were looking for earlier. Another thing, I think, get 3D distances in here. We'll have to declare that. So 3D distance we'll use to um, float my coordinates, chords, float. Enemy coordinates. So all we're passing here is a, a three-dimensional array. Um, sorry, I think I'm having a bit of a stroke because my code writing is absolutely terrible. I don't know what I'm doing. Get 3D distance. Um, yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so float get 3D distance. So what we're doing is returning float here of, you know. How far are we from the enemy? Um, yeah, and that's what we used to display our distance. So I was wondering why I put this here. So square root, and all this is the 3D distance formula. And if you've done the previous tutorials, you'll know this. And even if you haven't, you probably know about this as well. So to the power of two, double enemy uh, chords. That will be zero. So all I'm doing is literally copying a formula that has been around for quite a while and this will allow us to know how far away we are from the enemy. And then to the power of 2.0. So we, all we're doing is squaring these var variables here. So double, open, 
and close that, that's fine. Uh, and then plus, just copy this now, because there's no point. Uh, good old, I'm so good at copying and pasting, because I, I bet I'll do, I'll make a mistake somewhere. So that's one, one. So all we're doing is subtracting the x, y, and z from each other, and then powering it uh, times it by itself, so to the power of two. Um, so double enemy quads, blah, blah blah, that's fine. My quads one, and then you power to the power of two, and you add them all, which is also fine, and I'm happy with that. So all we're doing is returning three dis distance. There's nothing special about that. Um, move down, and everything else is pretty much done. So let's go back to what the fuck did I do wrong here? So what's wrong with turn square root? Made a mistake somewhere around here. I think it may have been. Oh shit, I forgot the semicolon there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, that's fine. So let's go back to main and code what we were doing. Okay, so. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep, so what we're going to do now is say target, which is the variable we just declared, hey equals find window. So we want to find out the window that is using, that is being used to pull counter strike in, so zero. And then put counter, make sure you type this properly, make sure we find the right window, source, mm -hmm. zero counter strike source, that's fine, and then we want to say, uh, our infinite loop, go here, that's afterwards, we want to say hdc, hdc, and that will be desktop, and I think it's named desktop because my last, yeah, I'm pretty sure my last thingy um, was my last overlay was using the entire desktop, that's why. So target uh, HWND, fine. Sorry, WND. Um, and yeah, and then we're going to set up drawing, which is, I believe, something we may have done at the top, or we haven't. No, we haven't. So we'll copy this and we'll go set it up in a second. So HDC, desktop, and comma, target. WND. And the reason why we're setting up drawing is quite obvious because uh, we need to be able to um, to declare our, uh, the pens that we're going to use to draw and everything like that. That's just how GDI works. So we're going to set up drawing just above, uh, just below get distance, I guess. So void <coughs> setup drawing, and then we're receiving, as you saw, we're receiving the uh, desktop handle and uh, sorry the window handle and the HTC for the desktop um, okay so H desktop desktop and HWND handle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then we go HTC desktop which is our, I guess we could have declared this at the bottom. I mean, feel free to improve the code afterwards. This is something that was slightly rushed at the end of it, but whatever. H desktop. So we just assigned that value there. That major handle equals handle. Uh, enemy brush equals create solid brush. And then we're choosing the color of the brush that we want to use. So RGB. Uh, we're going to go 255, zero, zero. Okay, feel free to change this to whatever color you like. I'm sure you can come up with something cool. And then color here, which is the color we're going to use. And we're going to go snap line color. Remember, we declare this at the top. Equals, just copy these actually for now. Make make our lives easier. Uh, tsh, boom, that's it. Should have had lunch before making this tutorial. I have to get something to eat in a little, little while. Text color zero RGB. Uh, so it's set this one to 255 and set the top one to blue. So if you don't know how RGB works, which I'm sure a lot of you uh, know, uh, RGB just stands for red, green, blue. So if you set one to 255, it'll set um, the intensity to the fullest red. So for example, this one's 100% uh, red, this one's a 100% uh, blue, red, green, blue. And this one's green, yeah. So I just bought different colors so you guys can play around with that if you like, which I'm sure you will. And um, and that's cool, 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 cool. So I'm gonna go down to um, just go back down to main. So we've set up drawing, brilliant. And now we're gonna do our infinite loop. So four, 
go like that, like that, and that's an infinite loop in case you don't know. Or you can just do 